Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Mukesh English. This is Mukesh Soni. Friends, in this video, we are going to have a discussion of 2020 question paper of KSET English paper 2. Let's begin it. So this is a question paper of 2020 KSET English paper 2, QP code uh, 04 and the duration to uh, two hours, two hours and the total number of questions here, 100 questions. Each question is for two marks. So to the marks weightage. 200 marks so let's begin it question number one one of the one of the consequences of great vowel shift on the vowel shift in the english language was two and four uh, second option and the fourth options are correct options the shortening of the vowels and changes in changes in pronunciation pronunciation a code mixing uh, a code mixed text question number two what is a code mixed text a code mixed text uses both the first and second languages. Obviously, the word mix itself says that there's a mix, there's a mixture of first language and second language. Now, the third one. We need to match here the transfer of knowledge, exclusive use of written form of language, total immersion in target language, real life situations. So let's uh, let's match transfer of knowledge. Here refers to lecture method. Then exclusive use of written language uh, refers to trans grammar translation method. Then total immersion target language, that means to say we are using direct method. And the last one, real life situations, refers to communicative method. So transfer of knowledge, lecture method, ex exclusive use of written language, grammar translation method, total immersion in target language, direct method, real life situations communicative method so this from the language aspect then we have next few more question uh, one more question with the match we need to match here phonetics belongs to sounds semantics belongs to meanings syntax belongs to structure and lexis belongs to words to repeat phonetics sounds semantics meaning syntax structure and lexis words question number five Ferdinand D. Saussure, Saussure argued that the units in language are construct, sorry, contrastive and rational, uh, sorry, relational. According to Ferdinand D., the units in language uh, units in language are contrastive and relational. Now the next question number six: What is payroll? What is payroll? Payroll means speech actual speech payroll is related to actual speech in linguistics the term deep structure and surface structure are associated with uh, chomsky remember the terms the terms deep structure and and uh, surface structure deep structure and surface structure are associated with chomsky norm Chom norm uh, chomsky now the question number 8 the lines question number 8 what do the words on the golden brooch worn by Prioress mean in Chaucer's prologue? It means love conquers all. Question number nine. That I may rise and stand over, sorry, I may rise and stand overthrow me. This is the line taken from John Donne, famous poem, Holy Sonnets Better Barter My Heart, Three Person God. So from which poem these lines are taken? These lines are written by John Dunn uh, from the poem Holy Sonnets. Holy Sonnets, Butter My Heart, Three Person God. Question number 10. Question number 10. And yonder all before us lie deserts of vast eternity. These lines occur in To His Koi Mistress. To His Koi Mistress, written by Andrew Marvel. So these lines appear in Andrew Marvel's famous poem To His Koi Mistress. <coughs> Now, next, again, we need to match here. Commerce. Commerce is a mask. Commerce relates to mask. Paradise relates to epic. Lycidas, pastoral elegy. Samson agonistus, that is a tragedy. So, commerce, mask, and paradise lost. Epic, Lycidas, uh, pastoral elegy. Uh, Samson, uh, Samson agonistus, that is a tragedy. Now, Mac. Flickon, Mac Flickno, Mac Flickno, Mac Flickno satirizes Thomas Shedwell. Mac Flickno 
Mac Flecknoe sh- sh- uh, satirizes Thomas uh, Shedwell, and who is it in Mac Fleck- Mac Flecknoe? That is John Dryden. <clears throat> John Dryden. Now, question number thirteen. We were circle around him thrice and close your eyes with holy dread. So it these are the poems from Kubla Khan. Uh, from these are the poets from Kubla Khan by S. T. Coleridge, and these lines are about the poet himself. These lines are about the poet himself, S. T. Coleridge. Now next is here. Shelley's or to West Wind describes the West Wind as it is described the West Wind as the driving force of history. In the uh, the P. B. Shelley's famous poem "Or to the West Wind," here the West Wind here refers to the driving force of history. Now question number fifteen. Imagist school. Which are the po- which are the authors that belong to Imagist school? Ezra Pound, T. E. Uh, Hulm, S. T. S. T. M. E. Lovell. These are the poets. These are the authors belong to uh, Imagist school. Then question number sixteen: Hearts are not had as a gift, but hearts are earned by those that are not entirely beautiful. So these are the lines uh, taken from these are lines taken from uh, W. E. Yeats' famous poem "A Prayer for My Daughter." These are lines. These are the li- these lines are taken from W. E. Yeats' famous poem "A Prayer for My Daughter." Now next question was seventeen. Very interesting. Uh, question sir no man is enemy who has written this poem here this poem is written by w h orden and this poem is also called as this poem is also called as a petition poem this poem is also called as petition poem this poem is a rilkean sonnet rilkean sonnet sir no man is enemy by w h orden it is also called as petition poem and this is a Rilkean sonnet. R i l k i a n. Next, the title of Hemingway's Ernest Hemingway's novel, for whom the bell tolls, bell tolls, is taken from a sermon by John Donne. So the Hemingway's famous novel, for whom the bell tolls, is written by Hemingway, and the title of this novel is taken from a sermon, and the sermon is by John Donne. Now, question number twenty, question nineteen. One would think the men had been hired to spy upon me. Who stated this? Who told this? With reference to his biographer, it has been told by Doctor Johnson. Question number twenty. Again, we need to we need to uh, match here. Imaginary conversations, the stones of Venice, literature and dogma, and the rural rights. So, imaginary conversations. Imagine these are the books. Imaginary conversations written by Walter Savage Landor. The fourth option. Imaginary conversation is written by Walter Savage Landor. The Stones of Venice. The Stones of Venice written by Joan Ruskin. Literature and Dogma by Matthew and Arnold. Matthew Arnold. Arnold. Rural Rights by William Cobbett. I repeat. Imaginary. Con- imaginary con- conversations by Walter Savage Landor, The Stones of Venice, John Ruskin, Literature and Dogma, Matthew Arnold, and Rural Rights, William Cobbett. Now moving to the question number twenty-one. Call me Mary Betton, Mary Seton, Mary uh, Carmichael, or by any name you please. Who introduced herself in this manner? The imaginary narrator. the imaginary narrator in in the book a room of one's own there is a there is an imaginary narrator in the book a room of one's own and the room of one's own is written by virginia wolf is it my virginia wolf now next question question number 22 goodbye to all that goodbye to all that it is the autobiography of robert graves goodbye to all that is the autobiography of robert graves now who wrote the provocative book mother india mother india is written by catherine catherine mayo mother india is written by catherine mayo and the next question is here the remembered village the remembered village is written by amen shrinivas the remembered village is written by amen shrinivas 
now next question number 25 playing in the dark playing in the dark written by tommy sorry tony morrison and in this work playing in the dark what morrison says here silence and silence and evasion rule the discourse on race one should contemplate the black presence in american literature and whiteness and blackness are constructs tony morrison playing in the dark then question number 27 the shock doctrine doctrine by written by uh, naomi klein is about neo liberalism the shock doctrine is about neo liberalism question number 28 critics argue that dr foster's is a great but flawed play what are the weaknesses in the play so there are two answers the the in the insipid comic and farcical scenes there are insipid comic or the farcical scenes and the secondly the lack of development in the middle section so these are the two weaknesses in dr foster's then question number 29 f r lewis f r lewis dismisses bradley's interpretation of othello by arguing that othello should not be sentimentalized as a noble savage othello is not the center of the play othello is faulty in his understanding so f r lewis okay next question number 30 we need to match here ralph royster doister the spanish tragedy the old wives tale the edward edward 2 so ralph Ro royster doister belongs to nicolas udal nicolas udal the spanish tragedy belongs to thomas kidd very important thomas kidd the old wives tale belongs to george pillay and edward 2 belongs to christopher marlow written once again yeah, sorry repeat once again ralph royster doister nicolas udal the spanish tragedy thomas kidd the old wives tale george pillay and pillay or peel uh, edward 2 christopher marlow now question number 31 again we need to match here the the statement from particular different place the rest is silence the rest is silence belongs to hamlet those these violent delights have violent ends belongs to romeo and juliet if music be the food of love play on belongs to twelfth night ripeness is all belongs to king lear king lear the rest is silence hamlet those violent delights have violent ends romeo and juliet if music be the food of love play on twelfth night ripeness is all king lear now question number 32 the school of scandal in the school of scandal sir oliver surface resolves all the problems when he returns from india so he has written the school of scandal sir oliver surface and he resolves all the problem when he returns from india next question number 33 which play by ben jonson begins with the prologue admonishing the audience that is bartholo mu fair bartholomew fair bar in the in the one um, in the play bartholomew fair he begins the prologue by admonishing the audience next question number 34 the lion and the jewel written home written by wall soyinka wall soyinka is about is about tradition and modernity in africa and is about changing role of women in african society so it's about african society so lion and the jewel written by wall soyinka next question number 35 the famous irish play juno and peacock juno and peacock deals with the slum life in dublin the slum life in dublin juno and peacock deals with the slum life in dublin and who has written this play this play juno juno and peacock is, is written by sin o k c s e n o c a s e y sin o k c is written by next who who are the leading angry young men john osborn john osborn john uh, osborn philip larkin harold printer harold printer kingsley amis these are they are the angry young men 
क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी सेवन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग बुक्स इज नॉट अबाउट इज नॉट अबाउट इंग्लिश स्टडीज इन इंडिया द बुक टाइटल इन थियरी इन थियरी इज नॉट अबाउट इंग्लिश स्टडीज इन इंडिया सो मास्क ऑफ कंकेस्ट this gift of england english the lie of the land they all talk about english studies in india so who are the authors mask of of kankes written by gauri vishwanathan this gift of english written by alok mukherjee the the lie of the land written by david jaspar utley so which is not in theory question number 38 who among the following was a supporter of the vernacular languages as medium of instruction lord Curzon, Lord Curzon. Question number thirty-nine. Identify the theorist who described the third world literature as the national allegories. Who has described? What is the name of the theorist? Frederick Jameson. Frederick Jameson has described the third the third world literature as the national allegories. Allegories. Question number forty. In the context of post-colonial studies, the concepts, uh, the concepts filiation and affiliation, found theoretical articulation. Filiation and affiliation got more importance in different theories. And uh, in whose theories? Edward Said. In the theories of Edward Said. Edward. Now let's match it here. Uh, ne negritude. Negritude belongs to. Birago, Birago, Diop. Neo colon Neo colonialism belongs to Wame Kuruma. Wame Kuruma. This is option D. Globalistic, globalectics, globalectics belongs to Gugi. Section or uh, option A. Gugi. World system theory belongs to Emmanuel Wallerstein. Wall Wallerstein. Now let's move on to question number forty-two, which is the correct chronological sequence of friends' finance critical works in order of their publication? So we find here black skin, white mask, then a dying uh, colonialism, the rest of the earth toward the African African Revolution. Question number forty-three, Edward Edwards Edward said uh, Edwards reading of Jane Austen's Mansfield Park that demonstrates deep implications of imperialism is an example for contra contrapuntal 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 reading it's an example of contrapuntal reading so there is no such thing as free speech and it is god's too it's an essay very longest title there is no such thing as free speech and it's a good thing too it's an essay written by stanley fish just like fish too long there is no such thing as free speech and it's a good thing too unquote it's an essay written by it's an essay written by stanley fish now we are moving to the question number 48 uh, sorry question number 45 then 45 identify the theoretical formulation that does not belong to the group so uh, panopticon does not belong to this group then in the context of eco criticism the three phrases the fee, the three phases identify cheryl glott felty all the one three four the representation of nature in literature then recovery of nature writing text analyzing the symbolic construction of species and uh, developing theoretical frame for reading text on nature question number 47 it is not language which has a hole in its hole, uh, in its ozone layer who is the author and in which book the in which book and who has told this statement it is not the language which is a hole in the ozone layer who has told in which book kate Kate Soper. Kate Soper has told in in his in a book what is nature. It's told by Kate Soper. Kate Soper in in his book what is nature. Question number forty eight. Eve Sofersky, Sedgwick's epistemology, epist epistemology of the closet, epistemology of the closet. It's a seminal work on gay and lesbian criticism. Again, lesbian criticism. 
now question number 49 bruno latour and steve wogler inaugurated a new wave of cultural studies of science with the publication of laboratory life the essay the essay the essay cyborg manifesto Cy sorry cyborg manifesto written by donna harvey was published in 1985 in the socialist review 51 rebecca walker's before hip hop was hip hop is a reflective essay so who is written before hip hop was hip hop it's written by rebecca walker and uh, what is this it's a reflective reflective essay very interesting title sydney's apology for poetry philip sydney sydney's apology for poetry is among the thing uh, it's a reaction to whom it's a reaction to plato's critic of theory it's a reaction to stephen gesson's comments on drama and poetry it's a reaction to contemporary disparagement uh, of poetry sydney's apology of for poetry then dryden comments that affecting the metaphysics in love poems by the metaphysical poets is not natural then question number 54 what does matthew arnold mean matthew arnold mean by the term this interestedness this interestedness this interestedness what is the meaning of disinterestedness a disinterestedness according to matthew arnold it th that means the critics ability to look at the text objectively when there is a critics ability to look at the text objectively it is called disinterestedness according to matthew arnold then which play by shakespeare has contributed an important analytical term in post colonial theory that is the play the tempest question number 56 which of the following is the accepted tenet of new criticism the literary text has a distinctive ontological status now let's match it science and poetry the hersey of paraphrase what was literature anna anna karenia and others anna karenia and and others other essays so science and poetry science and poetry belongs to i a richards science and poetry belongs to i a richards the 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 hersey of paraphrase belongs to clint brooks clint brooks then what was literature belongs to leslie fidler leslie fidler and a karenia belongs to f r lewis and a karenia less ss belongs to f r lewis very important one so so let's repeat science and poetry i a richards hersey of paraphrase clint brooks what was literature leslie fidler and anna karenia and other essays f r lewis so these are the important one in which work does immanuel kant defend the autonomy of literature so immanuel kant defends the autonomy of literature in 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 her book critic of judgment which book critic of judgment 59 question number 59 which work deals elaborately with telling and showing in fiction telling and showing in fiction the rhetoric of fiction who is written uh, wayne c booth wayne c wayne c booth it's written by wayne c booth w a w a y n e wayne c booth rhetoric of fiction telling telling and showing now question number 60 art then is the becoming and happening of truth so who has given this definition about art martin martin heidegger martin heidegger has given about art which critic is best known for his work on the western canon herold bloom herold bloom is well, is very much popular for his work on western canon in serious critical intellectual work there are no absolute beginnings and few unbroken continuities continuities who made this in this statement stuart hall stuart hall has mentioned this then question number question number 63 who distinguishes between theory as a body of knowledge and the theory as a practice uh gerox 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 or gerox g i r o u x who has distinguished between the theory as a body of knowledge and theory as a practice gerox g i r o u x then question number 64 name the critic 
who explains social definition of culture as a description of particular way of life raymond williams raymond williams williams named the philosopher who attempted to fuse structuralism with marxism louis althusser very important question it's a repeated question from the previous question paper also louis althusser who has mixed year structuralism with marxism uh, sorry who has tried to fuse structuralism with Ma marxism the cultural studies perspective on culture differs from the arnoldian levisti perspective on the following grounds which are grounds here 1 to 3 it does not hierarchize it does not hierarchize the popular and serious culture it is not uh, elitist visualizes culture as a part of the power structure question was 67 how do ashes nandi and venelal they interpret the film lagan so as catching of two indian madness the cricket team is symbolic of the nation colonialism gets mixed up with the emotional nationalism according to them question number 68 according to pierre according to pierre bodu bodu cultural capital is cultural knowledge and competence which empowers an individual who is the author of after uh, after amnesia after amnesia who is it dn devi dn devi sorry gn devi after amnesia gn devi which Indian critic has made a cultural analysis of the poem, or oh, sorry, of the film Roja? Tejasvi Niranjana. Tejasvi Niranjana has made a cultural analysis of the film Roja. Nice song. The linguist, the linguistic turn or the semiotic turn refers to emphasis on representation of reality rather than rather than reality. Now let's match here. Hercule. Poirot, Sherlock Holmes, Adam Dalgale, Adam, uh, Adam Dalgish, then Philip Marlowe. So, Hercule Poirot, uh, Agatha Christie, Agatha Christie, then Sherlock Holmes, Arthur Cannon Doyle, then Adam Dalgish, P.D. James, and Philip Marlowe, Raymond Chandler. Question number 73. Which novel by Dickens begin with these lines whether I shall turn out to be here whether I shall turn out to be the hero of my life or whether that station will be held by anybody else by John, uh, Charles Dick Dickens David Copperfield David Copperfield these are the lines from David Copperfield by Charles Dickens or Dickens then who is generally described as the most malevolent character in the scarlet letter in the Scarlet Letter, who is who is described Roger, Roger, Roger Schillingworth, Roger Schillingworth, who is described Roger Schillingworth. Now, Scarlet Letter, who is written? It's a novel by Nathaniel Hawthorne. Nathaniel Hawthorne, Hawthorne. Next, seventy-five. Question number seventy-five. Which more? Which postmodernist novel has two endings? The French Lieutenant's Woman. The French Lieutenant's Woman has the two endings. Now, who has written French Lieutenant's Woman? Written by John Fowles. John Fowles. F-O-W-L-E-S. John Fowles. Written in 1969. The French Lieutenant's Woman. It has two endings. Now, Father Time. Very important question. It's a repeated question. Question. Father Time is a character in the novel Jude the Obscure. Now, who has written Jude the Obscure? Thomas Hardy. Remember, Thomas Hardy has written Jude the Obscure and which character is here? Father Time. This question was repeated in the previous question papers also. Next question was 77. Muriel Sparks novel. Muriel Sparks. Uh, okay. The novel Memento Mori written by Muriel Sparks. What is this? It's, a, it's about old people. Memento Mori written by Muriel Sparks. It is a, it's about old people. Next, Doris, Doris Lessings. The Grass is Singing. The Grass is Singing, written by Doris Lessings. What is this? It talks about uh, the racist society. The racist society. In which novel by Virginia Woolf, the protagonist gender, gender change in the midway of the 
midway through the narrative where the gender change where the protagonist gender changes in the description uh, in which novel by virginia wolf that is jacob's room jacob's room in this novel in this novel what happens the gender changes in the midway through the narrative then the method of research the method of the method of research which begins with the hypothesis or theory then searches for evidence either to support or refute that hypothesis or theory is termed as deductive research deductive research which of the following statement uh, are not correct with regard to literature review the first statement and fourth statement are not correct to collect relevant questions on the problem at hand to reject sub substandard literature as irrelevant so which are the correct one second and third are the correct one about literature review to identify what the previous research has said on the research question correct to identify the problems and the potential pitfalls in the chosen area so this is about literature review which of the following is an example of academic research in humanities orientalism orient orientalism orientalism is the example of academic research in in humanities humanities a comparative research on two literary traditions aims at drawing new insights on the two traditions that's about comparative research which is not an appropriate way to relate to oneself with research research is only means of getting phd degree it's it's wrong the skills that can be developed through audio lingual methods audio lingual methods include the mastering sound system and grammatical patterns then uh adhering the natural order of lsrw skills then teaching pronunciation from the beginning so these are the uh, these are the advantage of audio lingual methods then according to Ch noam chomsky noam chomsky chomsky according to chomsky one of the following is not a factor leading to language acqui acquisition so we can't say habit formation habit formation is not a factor rule formation individuals cognitive effort to discover the rule the rules of language individuals effort to create understand ut utterances which they have learned these are the factors which leads to language acquisition but habit formation does not lead so the question number 87 only the learners can do the learning this observation mostly aptly reflects one of the following methods of language teaching so only the learners can do learning this reflects which which method the silent method in silent method the teacher does not facil fel facilitate so the teacher does not facilitate the total dependence on the teacher then one of the following is not the goal of the teacher who uses the desuggestopedia so which he he does not uh, that in the in the in the method desuggestopedia the teacher does not focus on grammar the teacher focuses on vocabulary speaking communication it also emphasizes the para conscious mind then question number 19 which indian play provided a powerful expression of disillusionment with post nehruvian era that is girish kannad's tughlaq 91 question 91 who is the author of spectre of marx it's again a repeated question jacks derrida derrida is the author of spectre of marx next the medium is the message the medium is the message who has coined this phrase marshall mcluhan marshall mcluhan has coined this phrase the medium is the message then question number question number 93 which of the following statement are correct with regard to with, with regard to popular culture only the first and second popular culture refers to a set of practice beliefs and uh, objects that prevalent that prevalent in the society then popular culture influences on uh, an individual's so attitude towards certain topics then question number 94 in film studies christian metz is associated with screen theory so who is christian metz C christian metz is a french film theorist and christian metz is associated with the screen theory then question number 95 riddles of the sphinx refer to the title of a film written and written and directed by uh, laura mulvey and peter wollen then question number 
a cultural group which is a larger culture often having beliefs or interest at variance with those of the larger culture is, ter is termed as subculture so five questions will be asked here based on a uh, based on unseen poetry and the poem is like this nothing gold can stay nature's first green is gold her hardest hue to hold her early leaf is a flower but only so an hour then leaf subsides to leaf so eden sank to grief eden sank to grief so dawn goes to dawn to stay nothing gold can stay so question number 97 five questions based on this piece of poetry nature's first green is gold that means to say all things are beautiful in their early stage next question what does early leaf mean in this poem it means the early stage that the leaf looks like a flower what is the gold about eden before it sank to grief so first one the innocence of the human couple and the third one the un the third one is the unblemished happiness of adam and eve in the poem day the day he refers to the dawn which has lost its beauty so friends this is how i have solved this question paper based on the answer key provided by university of mysore the coordinating university for this case set examination so this is a question paper of 2020 paper 2 so friends if you like this video click on the like button write in the comment box if you have some more information some more information about these topics please do share your knowledge so this is how i have tried to solve thank you so much for watching and if you are not yet subscribe my channel please do subscribe thank you once again